Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today's a very exciting day because a new untethered jailbreak utility for iOS 7.1 and 7.1.1 that functions on all iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models has finally been released, and in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it to jailbreak. To start off, before I begin, I want to preface by saying a few things. First of all, this is being posted here on my secondary channel, ICUID, and once a few things have been worked out and a new version for OS X has been released, I will push out an updated tutorial on my main channel, I Crack Your Eye Device. So if you're not currently subscribed to my I Crack Your Eye Device channel, just be sure to do so. Now, second of all, as I previously mentioned, this new untethered jailbreak utility exclusively supports Windows for the moment. And if you don't mind setting the date back on your iOS, device to make use of this new untethered jailbreak utility which utilizes a developer enterprise certificate then you will be able to jailbreak again 7.1 or 7.1.1 on any iPhone iPad or iPod touch model now also keep in mind this is from a new dev team it's not from muscle nerd pod 2g Pimskex, any of the evaders members and it's not from ionic either although it does utilize one of the exploits that ionic demonstrated during one of his training seminars this is completely separate from a Chinese team that was financed by somewhat of a questionable service to include some software bundled with the jailbreak. But if you don't mind that, then you will be able to jailbreak again 7.1 and 7.1.1. Now in today's video, I'm going to be using my fifth generation iPod Touch to demonstrate with, and it actually doesn't have a rear facing camera because this is the lower end 16 gigabyte model. Now with that out of the way, I'm going to first of all prove to you guys that this iPod Touch is indeed on iOS 7.1.1 by going inside of settings general about and down below at the bottom again you will notice that it does say 7.1.1 for the version so you know it's running apple's latest public firmware being 7.1.1 all right and i just adjusted the camera and zoomed in what you're going to need for this tutorial is pangu if you don't have a download check down below in the more info be sure to click that link it will take you to a post on my website that not only contains a download link for pangu for windows but it also has full written instructions now without any further ado what you're going to do is plug your iPhone iPad or iPod touch into your computer via the standard USB cable it was shipped with and then once it's connected you can close out of iTunes when it pops up if it pops up and then at this point we're going to open Pangu so just click on it and then click run once you get this prompt and then you should be fine you won't really understand the interface but as long as it detects your iDevice up at the top as you can see it has detected that my iPod touch is a fifth generation iPod Touch running iOS 7.1.1. You can continue. Just make sure you plug your device in first and then launch Pangu and then click on the button over here on the right hand side with all the question marks. You can also uncheck this at the bottom to ensure that it doesn't install anything. And again, you won't really understand the interface, but as long as you follow these steps, you'll be fine. Just be sure to click the button over on the right hand side. And then we're going to actually need to set the date back on our iOS device. And the reason for this is because again this jailbreak utilizes a developer enterprise account and the certificate for the enterprise account has been revoked so for this initial step you will need to set the date back to when it wasn't revoked so I'm actually going to adjust the camera here you're going to open the settings app and then go to general from there scroll down to date and time let's just find that here and if you have 24 hour time checked this will be slightly different you'll just need to set the time to 2030 but if if you don't then you'll need to set it to 830 so we're going to uncheck set automatically if it's already checked which it should be for most of you so uncheck set automatically you're going to set the date itself back to June 2nd so let's find that Monday June 2nd right there and we're going to set it to 830 p.m. so let's set it to 830 p.m. or 2030 so there we go p.m. And once you have it set to 8.30 p.m., it will continue inside of Pangu here, and the progress bar will move along. And as you can see, the animation actually went away, stating that Pangu needed you to set the date back. So I'm actually going to press the home button here. You should see a new icon on your iOS device. We have Pangu. I'm just going to tap it, and I'm going to tap on continue. It's just asking me if I want to run it. And of course, it's saying to keep the device connected, do not close the app and just rely on the status bar inside of Pangu even though it's just filled with question marks. 
I'm also going to leave the iPod Touch here up on the screen so you can see approximately how long this process should take. Again, it may vary for you though, just depending on a few things, such as what you actually have installed on your device and how much available storage you have. So just be sure to wait for this jailbreak to complete and be patient. I'm going to zoom out here really quick though so you guys can get a better feel for the progress bar. All right, as you can see, it is rebooting now. Just leave it connected, do not unplug it yet. And as you can see, we are back. So I'm going to slide to unlock and go over. We're going to launch Pangu for a second time here. And it did continue inside of Pangu. I actually got a brief message saying that my iDevice was nearly full with storage. That can't be true though, because this is a fresh restore to iOS 7.1.1. And so again, we're just going to wait for this to continue and leave it connected. As you can see, I got a brief splash screen there for a second, so you know it is still working on jailbreaking the iPod Touch here. All right, and this is the moment of truth. We should have Cydia on iOS 7.1.1 right about now let's unlock it and actually scroll over if i don't activate spotlight first and there we go we have cydia on ios 7.1.1 on a fifth generation ipod touch the first time you open it as customary with cydia you will get a preparing file system message that's fine it will respring once it's finished you don't have to have it connected now it is finished so we can unplug it from the computer and again it will respring once it has finished preparing the file system i'm just going to bring the ipod touch up here and i will be back once it finishes i'm just going to leave it up on the display though so again you can see approximately how long it should take All right, there we go. The iPod Touch did respring, and let's wait for it to come back up, and I'm going to open Cydia again. All right, let's swipe over and go inside of Cydia. And now I'm just going to scroll to the bottom really quick just to confirm again that I am indeed on iOS 7.1.1. Just to confirm, at the bottom you can see that Cydia does confirm this is an iPod Touch 5,1 on iOS 7.1.1 with Cydia 1.1.12. So again, this is Cydia running on iOS 7.1.1 on a fifth generation iPod Touch. And I can actually go down to the bottom. As you can see, I do indeed have sources and I can actually install things as well. Let's just go inside of the main source here, all packages. I have packages that I am able to install or modify or remove if I so desired to. So there you have it. This is a fully functioning jailbreak on iOS 7.1 and 7.1.1. Again, it's called Pangu, and I will have a download link below in the more info. Just be sure to follow it there. Also stay tuned to my main channel, I Crack Your Eye Device, for a new and updated tutorial. And if you guys are interested in earning free paid applications from Apple's App Store legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said applications, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or free app life com inside of safari and then once downloaded install sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for various prizes again such as paid application codes from apple's app store gift cards and electronic devices all right i hope you guys liked this tutorial just be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did remember leave comments down below in the comment section subscribe to icrack your eye device follow me on twitter and facebook and until next time this is icu signing out